In this video, I'm going to show you a simple route combination out of the bunch tight end where you can keep your opponent off and honest. You can really help with uh, when they're trying to do everything they can to contain PA boot over. I'm going to show you a little concept here that you can use that is an absolute money play from this formation. Now, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. And I also want to let you know that we're talking about the bunch tight end. I believe the bunch tight end is probably the most explosive offense in Madden 22. A lot of different reasons. It's very good uh, when paired with bunch. Um, it's very simple to run. It's very difficult to defend. It's very safe to run, in my opinion, because you have the best, in my opinion, the best blocking that you can get out of a formation from the PA boot over play. Um, you're going to be able to glitch contains left and right. There's just a lot of things that your opponent is going to have to do to stop some simple route combinations. And I'm going to give you one today that I think is super helpful whenever they are actually able to stop some of the basic stuff that you do from PA boot over. Now, if you've not already picked up an ebook on the bunch tight end and you want to learn it, or if you want to just get better at the game, I would encourage you to join my Patreon. By joining my Patreon for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I have. I do have one in the bunch tight end, but I also have 13 additional offensive and defensive ebooks. Pretty much any formation that you want to learn, I believe that we have something for you in the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below where you can get that for just 10 bucks if you want to check that out after the video. All right, guys, let's talk about PA boot over and why this play is so dang good and also what you can do uh, when they start actually or when they're actually able to contain this concept. So uh, really all you have to do is slide your line to the right and then you're going to block your tight end. And what you see here is we have a high low between the circle receiver and the triangle receiver. Now, the beauty of PA boot over is it also, in my opinion, puts one of the best bomb concepts in the game where you can streak that slot, you can slant the, uh, that other guy, and then Brady's not going to be able to make this throw, but you can hit this guy over the top. Let me show you that one more time. Um, and then we're going to cover this little counter play that I really like to use. Uh, I also call these constraint theory plays or counter plays. Plays that we use to kind of keep the defense honest. Once they start to overextend themselves, um, that's where something like this, you know, they're trying really hard to stop this bomb. They're trying really hard to stop the PA boot over play. And then you can hit them with this concept from PA boot over. And this is a secondary setup that I personally absolutely love. So how this setup is going to work is what we're going to do is we're going to essentially do everything else the same. We're still going to slide our line to the right. We're still going to put our uh, triangle receiver, we're going to hot route him to a zig route, and then we're going to take the tight end, and we're going to put him on a tight end apprentice post. So now what we're going to have, in essence, is a high-low on the left, and if you wanted to slant the circle receiver, you certainly could do that. Um, if you want to leave him on this little kind of inverted drag, you could do that as well. But now this becomes a very simple concept, because we can pick up every pressure in the game just by blocking, just with the standard... PA boot over blocking that we get. Every pressure in the game is going to get picked up. And what I like to do with this is basically, so I'll give you an example. So this is 335 wide, right? We're actually going to send six out of this. And this is what a lot of people do when they're trying to contain this. They will literally start blitzing a ton of people. And then you go to a setup that looks like this. And what you're going to see here is this running back will literally just pick people up out of nowhere. And then you can hit your tight end post. And now you're going to start beating people from the pocket, not necessarily just only relying on beating them on the rollout. What people want to do whenever they defend bunch tight end is they really want to keep you in the pocket. The problem becomes, I think, for people when defending this formation is what happens whenever you can, whenever you can do everything right from a contained perspective and they still dot you up with this slant post combo. The slant post combo is probably one of the best underneath concepts in the game this year. If they cover that slant, chances are the post of the tight end um, is going to be wide open. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this setup here is you have this little backside concept that I really like. You can use this concept against a lot of different uh, defenses. Most of the time, they're going to be so scared of the post from this outside receiver that they're going to, you know, kind of not worry about anything else. They're just going to try to stop this deep post. But if for whatever reason they try to get greedy and go guard the tight end, now you have one of the best cover two bombs in the game in this tight end or this deep post to Antonio Brown. And as you can see, it gets over the top of the coverage. 
Now, this is also a play that I really, really like whenever uh, people are running uh, whenever people are running man to man. So if they're running man to man, they have they have to, in my opinion, respect your deep pose. They have to respect everything that you have on this. And this is where I really think the zig route is very effective. Is if you have any suspicion they might be in man, you can always kind of count on that zig. And if you can't hit the zig, that post the tight end will typically be there. The other route that you have on this play, um, and the, the, the beauty of this formation, man, is there's so many little things we could do with motion that you really can't do from bunch because you can motion this guy outside. So let's say, for example, you wanted to put him on a slant and you wanted to post. Well, now just kind of put him in a little baby motion right here. Now he's going to be off the jam, and now you can check down to that little slant and pretty much have a chance to beat every coverage in the game. So this is a really simple little play that you can mix in from PA boot over. What I really like about this is, again, you're able to pick up every pressure in the game. And then if you play your cards right here, I actually got bagged on that cover three. But if you play your cards right on this play, this is going to allow you to set up a rollout type of, type of uh, look. Because they can't defend the slant and the post and the flat. They can't defend all three routes that you have on the field. And the cool part, again, from Bunch Tight End is what if we just wanted to zig Mike Evans, slant Johnson, and still run the tight end post, but now we're going to do a little motion out. And now, again, you know we're kind of playing chess when they're playing checkers, and they're just not able to get a beat on us. And then next thing you know, we hit them with you know our basic rollout out of PA but over. So to me, it's just one of the most powerful concepts in the game that you can kind of mix this in with this concept and it makes this offense a real pain, in my opinion, to defend. It's one of the hardest deep offenses to stop. If you run it the right way, uh, and if you mix in the right constraint three plays, this play, in my opinion, is something that needs to be added to your playbook if you are running a bunch tight end based offense. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful uh, for you. This has been a helpful concept for me whenever I like to run uh, PA boot over or anything from bunch tight end. This is a very good concept, and I know that I'm playing well if I mix this in. Now, if you're watching this, and you want to learn the whole bunch tight end offense. I believe it's the easiest offense to learn. It's the easiest offense just to pick up and play. It's one of the most simple offenses. I think you know most pro players have a real hard time stopping this uh, because there's just so much you can do. It's very difficult to blitz this offense because of what I just showed you. This running back blocking mechanic right here is really, really good. Just cancel the play action by hitting the right trigger. But if you want to learn the whole offensive system, Head on down to the description, click the Patreon link, and by joining the Patreon today, you're gonna, not only going to get access to this ebook, but you're also going to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In my opinion, a great little deal for just $10 a month. You unlock everything over at the Patreon, over 13 ebooks, several exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns, literally all that stuff for just 10 bucks. So if you want to check that out, head on down to the description of the video, click the link that I provided, and head over and join that Patreon. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.